Hi everyone, I'm Sloan from SloanBella.com and I'm back with another energetic channeled video. Now this is an energy reading on a particular celebrity that is out there front and center big time. Very famous, very on the world stage. Everybody knows this man. He married into one of the biggest reality TV families in the history of our world as we know it. He himself has made a name for himself for being all controversial and extremely genius in his wording and his thoughts and extremely broken in the way that he responds to certain things. And I'm talking about Kanye West, ye or Yeezy, however you want to word it. This man's energy is very interesting and I started to focus on it. I became a little bit obsessed with one of his songs and I'm like, that is pr a pretty good song. I'm not familiar with his music other than I know who he is, but wasn't my time frame. I started to listen to it and I thought, this is really, really brilliant what he's writing here and he's not afraid to write it. And then I started to listen to the words and as I was listening to them, the meaning started to extend and expand. So I was wondering energetically what this was about. Now, first, I want to start off by saying that Kanye is a June 8th, 1977 Gemini. He is a fire snake and a birth path 11. Now, 11 is a number of potential that is not usually reached. 11, 22, and 33 are master numbers, but also numbers of potential. Fire snake is enough said. Fire snake, I think we all get the gist of that. And when I'm looking at the energy of a Gemini person, of course, Gemini is the twins, but they have 3,600 different personalities. But Kanye had something very interesting when I looked at his chart. First of all, he's extremely stubborn and extremely strong. So when I was looking at the energy, I'm like, what is that in the chart? We have Mercury, Venus, and Mars in Taurus. That explains that element of his personality that I'm going to walk up on stage and I'm going to throw your ass off and I'm going to speak about me, narcissistic Kanye. However, is that really who he is? I looked at the moon sign in his chart, Pisces moon. Now that was very surprising other than the fact that he's a musician. Musicians often have an element of Pisces because it's ruled by Neptune and Neptune is the musical planet, the creative planet, the planet that picks up the energy from the ethers. I looked at his Cancer rising. Cancer, the most orphaned, abandoned and adopted sign in the zodiac. So I looked at those two energies together in tandem with his Gemini sun conjuncting Jupiter which can burn the candle of speaking out too much at both ends and get your ass thrown into jail or right off the planet. And when I look at the combination of this, what my mind focuses on is it focuses on Pluto, Uranus and the North Node sitting together retrograde down at the bottom of his chart in the fourth house. And then when I look at the Neptune in Sagittarius, and then I jump over to Saturn in the second, in Leo, I learn that this man has karma with his creative vision. And there's a karmic responsibility to not repeat what he has done before. That is is where I stopped and I went into full blown panic because I began to see and I began to get the energy and hear what this man is actually expressing as he is out in public. What we don't see because it's the energy behind the person that is presented to us. Now, Kanye is very interesting because I immediately, immediately, go to the connection with his family and his mother in particular, which I think he stated that he really loves his mother and was devastated by her death and rightly so. However, it is told to us that when somebody like Kanye or any other entertainer reaches that level of success, 
that they themselves may have given part of themselves away that they don't own and can't really sell, so they can't really sell out. However, the wording is always that they are a sellout, but we hear that when people sell their music commercially instead of holding out for money later on, when they give it up to the establishment. That is another word for sellout. Now let's back this up because I got this so clear. Kanye, when he was born, was seen. So he was seen on the astral level of who he was and what his potential was on earth. So what he was here to do in this life. What was this soul being born into this baby here to do energetically, to shift the vibration? Now, let's assume we can see if we're on the astral level and we're not in human body, we are an entity of some kind, and we can see that this energy is going to be born in light of love, okay, from the creative center. And we don't want that energy to express itself in its entirety or reach its potential because if it reaches its potential, his, her potential, the rest of the energy or light workers or intentioned beings God-centered will start to reach their potential. And if there's a combination of potential reachers, it harnesses the energy on earth and it raises the vibration in a different direction than what is intended. Now, this is part of the problem. What is the intention here? So let's say we have a child and let's call him Kanye and he comes into a family and he's somewhat of a light worker or a light being energetically here to raise the vibration. Tremendous potential through the combinations of energies he's born with. Let's say he comes into a family that has a belief system that's different. Now he doesn't know this because he's a baby. He's a baby. I, I don't know why our memories are erased, but for the most part, we don't remember why we're here, why we're a baby, why we came here, who knows? Anyway, he comes into this family and they have another agenda. So they're working behind the scenes with an agenda for this baby's energy. So what I'm saying to you is sometimes we can mistakenly assume the person that we see out front and center publicly is the person who quote, gave away what they don't own as in sold out. You can't sell something you don't own to begin with. Your soul is belongs to God. So to sell it, that's not really how it works. To energetically agree to allow your energy to be used, manipulated, projected in a way that somebody else desires other than the self connected to the God source is another way to word that. Now, what if the family in which you're born has already agreed to your manipulation or your participation in this particular way of thinking. And when you participate in it, you are assuming that this is just the way it works. This is just the way your family that you're born into works. So this is something that is a belief system. You could say if you're born into a Catholic family, a Jewish family, a Buddhist family, this is a way of believing. Why would you believe it was wrong or different? Now, what if you were trapped in a physical body that you came into and the moment that you're born, you are gang stalked. That sounds really weird. So the energy is focused on you and focused on blocking you or thwarting your potential, a form of gang stalking. So they recognize you before you come onto this planet. They know who you are. Once they know who you are, they place things in front of you in order to distract you. Now, Kanye doesn't get distracted much. He definitely jumps on the bandwagon of whatever he's thinking, and that's for sure. But here's the interesting thing. I literally went into a meditation and asked to show me his energy. What I saw was actually really shocking. I saw Kanye in a cement room, like a jail cell, cement, 
nothing on the floor, no bed, no blanket, cold, like solitary confinement. He was wearing jeans and a hoodie. He looks like himself the way we recognize him between 30 and 40. That's about how old he looked with his knees up under his chin and his hands around his knees with his chin placed in his knees looking downwards. I got a glimpse in through that window and I was like, where am I seeing this? Where is he that he's in this, this cement room with just four cement walls and nothing around him, basically imprisoned? Then I looked over to the side and I went down a bunch of different hallways that were like honeycombs, like honeycomb cereal, like honeycombs connected one to the other, to the other, to the other. And as I walked through each of the honeycombs, which in and of itself was an entirely different room with an entirely different vision and feel to it, I began to feel very, very disconnected, almost short circuited. And I realized his brain, his mind has been honeycombed. In other words, they have segregated and separated, compartmentalized this man's brain or brain energy so that one form of thought does not recognize the next form of thought in a cohesive pattern. Usually when we think, even if we have 17 different personalities like some Geminis, not 3,600, but 17, and I'm playing with y'all, you Geminis. But let's say you've got a bunch of different thoughts in your head. Usually you can draw a congruent line from thought A to B to C, and you can understand how you went from here to here and everything in between. So when you're looking at the energy like that, that's a very, quote, normal way of thinking. Now, what if when you came into your physical vessel in this life, your body, you were distracted in your thinking so that it was constantly cut off as you began to move forward. So you began to progress forward and the thought was cut off. You began to progress over here and the thought was cut off. You began to think of that and the thought was cut off and another thought placed in your mind and another thought placed in your mind. So you could never get back to that original thought and then it was cut off so you didn't even know the thought walled off so you didn't even know the thought existed. This is what has happened to Kanye. When they talk about, you know, Beyonce and the queen bee and the beehive, no, nah, no. Nah. They're talking about the honeycombing of the mind. This is, this is literally what I got. They twist it around and they twist these words. His brain literally is like a honeycomb with many layer after layer after layer after layer. And the initial energy of the soul vibration that came into the physical body with its projection in this life, with its purpose, soul path purpose, has been relegated to a cement room in the honeycomb where it is imprisoned. So its strength and its focus is blocked. This is what I see with Kanye, a blocking of energy due to what has gone on. Now I asked them how they honeycomb a mind. That's the wording I'm using, that's a wording I heard. That's what came through to me. How do you do this? This has been done to him. We've heard a lot about the different ways of, you know, Manchurian, Manchurian Candidate or MK. I'll just code word it there. You understand what I'm saying. This is different. This is literally purposely fragmented. Like the ends of the thought are burnt and sizzled and therefore do not connect to the synopsis to the next thought. So he can't get back to that thought. So what we see when we see Kanye out there in public and we see him telling the truth, we see fragmented moments of truth and then the belief system that he cannot get back to that truth because he's so distracted. He's a very strong energy, very stubborn, very strong, very strong to even have a cohesive thought from its origin and all the way along. It sounds weird, but this is what I'm seeing. So they fragmented his mind and they put him out there publicly. But why? Why do this? Like, why? Who cares? This started long before he was born. This is a karmic tie to the family of origin, meaning the family he was born into. 
So did he pick this family? Like the New Agers say, we pick our family, we pick our parents, we pick our kids. Or was he harnessed energetically because of his potential and because on the astral level, they could view who this man's energy was. And this happens quite a lot. This happens all the way down, all the way down in our world. It does not have to be somebody of fame. It can be a person who is a God-centered source and powerful light. They are being gang stalked. They are being constantly thwarted pitted against their original idea. This is what happened to Kanye. This is what happened to him. He has moments where the thought is where it should be in its, in its concept, and then he's completely ripped in a different direction. This is very difficult for him to deal with. He doesn't know how to deal with this. It's very, very um, disconcerting for him as a person. When he breaks out of the honeycombing, I'm gonna call it, this is what they're telling me they did. I've not heard this word. I can only assume when they keep using the word beehive, bees, 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 it's honeycombing of the mind. They don't want us to talk about the bees. Literally think of the different compartments within a honeycomb. Pull a bee honeycomb out, and look at all those compartments. Ask yourself if those were solitary thoughts and you couldn't connect them back and there was a bunch of noise around them disconnecting them, how do you function? This is his problem. He comes in and out of cohesiveness, but it's the gang stalking part. So when we connect back to his mother and what happened with his mother, which of course he was extremely upset about and rightly so, we ask what happened to the connection with the mother? Why did she pass? Well, let's go all the way back to when she was pregnant. Let's go all the way back to her childhood. Let's go all the way back, 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 back. She had agreed to bring in an element into this life where she would allow the honeycombing to happen to this child because of this child's strength. She knew it and they know it from before we're born, when we're coming into a physical vessel, they watch, and who are the they's? I'll just say entities of a non-God-centered source, so let's put it that way. The energy around this planet, what happens around this planet. It doesn't necessarily have to be as evil as one could think or as positive, but they are literally picking and choosing powerful beings that are coming into human form and they are picking those souls with which to topple off of their path. So it is a honeycombing of the mind, fragmentation. The mother of Kanye wanted him to be successful and to push him in that direction. He was an easy target. They can see you when you're public. They know who you are. They will distract you. The first thing they distract 90 percent of the population with is drugs and alcohol. Easily accessible drug in the world is alcohol. They throw it at our kids to distract you. Money, a game, let's do this to distract you. Now let's say you happen to be a heightened intellect where you can understand particular things. And as a heightened intellect, you are able to understand the flow of energy, the flow of what you're doing. And as such, you've already formulated in your mind how to raise the vibration, because that's what we're talking about. What we're really talking about is energetically, these people cannot exist within a heightened vibration, within a heightened environment. So if you elevate it, and you elevate it to a level that vibrates up here, then everything down here dissipates. Its power is removed. So they are invested in taking those that can shift the energy. And it's not just somebody like Kanye. It is a bunch of people on the planet, people you've never even heard their names of, but he is one of them. And there is a group of people that are gang stalked, gang targeted from birth, childhood circumstances, childhood experiences, behaviors in early childhood, drugs and alcohol, parental upsets, criminal, jail, color of skin, racism, 
all of these things. They are targeted so they cannot play in an equal playground. If you are at a disadvantage and the home team is at the advantage, then how are you gonna play in this playground when you can't even catch up I'm speaking energetically. They are targeted from birth on. They see, they know us when we're born. Kanye is one of those. They knew who he was. So they fragment the shit out of him so that he can't gain speed to harness the energy. Because if he were that public a person and he were able to elevate at a group level, bring people up in the masses, in the masses, if he were able to do that, the energy would shift immediately from hundreds of thousands of people that would be listening to this man. It would shift. And as a result, the shifting of that energy would push these lower vibration bottom feeders out and to the side. So that's why they fragment the mind. And there's many different ways of doing it. Um, they can do it through subversive child. Now, how do they fragment a mind? They take a young child and they start to separate the thoughts. So just think about this. Let's say you're happily going along in your day. You're a little kid, you're in your crib, you're happy. A second later, they come in and they terrorize you. Your thoughts go from happy to terrorized. Years of this form of abuse while opening up the channel through the ritual that they use in a sexual way on children under the age of four. That's one way they do it. The other way is through tone and tonality. So they have vibrational tones that they inflict on young people and they put these tones in the baby's room and the baby's crib to the point where the ears listen for the tone and once you hit the tone and they know how you do it i don't know how they do it but they know how you do it once you can hear that tone they can hypnotize you or control the brain to have it respond in another way again manchurian candidate think of it in terms of that what i see with kanye is different I see this as a form of deconstructing through the honeycombing of the mind. And I've yet to see how they do that. But the honeycombing of the mind is to take the mind and to shatter it, like shoot it into a million pieces and have it far reaching in many, many different directions. So none of those directions take. And yet, they can filter out the conversations and the behaviors that they want to take, and then they can take it away. Now, from my understanding, there are several people in the public eye that have this honeycombing effect happening, and Kanye happens to be one of them. Not all people, for example, um, Anna Nicole Smith, that was a different kind of mind fragmenting. That was the what we know as MK Ultra or MK. We're just going to call it MK. That was that form of behavior with that. And that was something, again, that happened for a different reason. She was used as a pawn in society in order to manipulate and distract. Kanye is being used entirely differently. What they're showing me is in the next several years, so two and a half to three years, that his vibration will be used to lead. He will be used to lead the masses, but his brain is honeycombed. So therefore, which part of the thought are we following? It will appear to be a good idea, but what are we following? Now, when we speak about his mother and the sacrifice through his own words, you know, when asked if, about his mother's passing, had he not moved here, his mother wouldn't have been sacrificed. I'm going to word this a little bit differently. Had he not moved here, but for his mother's will to have him move here, therefore placing her in a position of that event taking place. So he is taking responsibility for something that is not his responsibility. It happened before he was born. The decision 
to pull him here happened before he was born. So it wasn't his choice, it was their choice. And their choice was to have him here first. That was their choice. So when you look at the energy like that, you begin to see it differently. You begin to understand it that there's many different forms of control going on in this world in order to distract, divert, and remove potential of vibrationally elevating the self and the souls that live in this dimension or environment or area. Kanye is one of those. He literally has been fragmented to a point that he couldn't get back to an original thought if he followed a path back with the thread that he left on the ground to follow the path back with because there are so many honeycombs upon honeycombs upon honeycombs in this mind of his and that's what they talk about the hive mindset different fragments of the brain but this is his brain in particular this is the way his brain thinks so this is the way that he focuses and he has a hard time the essence of who kanye was when he was born before he was gang targeted and that's what i'm going to call it strong, independent, God-centered, sourced people who come to this dimension and fall for the premise that money, wealth, and power is what we're here to do. For some reason, they can't see that in a grounded way. They don't see the combination. They see the one thing when they agree to it or their family agrees to it, which is the case with Kanye. When that happens and they are of strong constitution energetically, they will be fragmented in ways that you can't even imagine. I've not seen anything like this. Where I see Kanye is in the corner on the cement floor in the cement prison with his legs up sitting there like just like with his arms around his knees like where am I? That's where the essence of him is. Now, if he were to pass away, how would that thought get back to this person whose energy is over here and all the other persons, which brings me to another point. There are many different physical versions of Kanye, just like there were three doubles of Saddam Hussein running around the country so you would shoot them and not him. But were they really doubles or were they reconstructed, patterned people? This is what I'm hearing. Reconstructed, patterned people. So when you look at Kanye here and you look at Kanye here, these are different Kanye's. The other thing I'm seeing is the level of electricity that goes through his brain. So there is the belief that when one of them gets out of service or out of sync energetically, they are shocked back into complacency and then taken away. This is where Kanye's energy is. In the next two to three years, I want you to watch as this man is a Pied Piper of sorts that leads the people down a path. He will also break the people from the path because he will realize where he leads them is not where they should be going. I'm talking from a God-centered source and that he has been manipulated by the gang. And this is literally, I'm wording it the best way I can, but this is literally what I see happening in tandem to this man, one after another, after another. So that's my first video on the energy around Kanye West. And once again, my name is Sloan from SloanBella.com.